Hello, what's new at SCAD TV? Erica Jones here, Membership and Outreach Director. It's been so long. How are you? I miss you. Guess what? I have one quick update, and that is this weekend, Saturday, 7 to 9 p.m., Cinema Somerville Film Fest. That is right. We have curated an awesome selection of some local short films for your viewing enjoyment. So please come Union Square Plaza. It's a collaboration with the Somerville Arts Council as part of their Arts Union event series. Um, it'll be awesome. A huge blow up screen that the city of Somerville brings down. It's going to be top notch. Bring your friends, family, neighbors. Bring your picnic. Bring a chair. Maybe bring a blanket. Bring yourself. See you this weekend. Hi, I'm Brian Zip. I'm the new executive director here at SCAT TV. Um, my background um, has been in nonprofits for, for more than 20 years, um, and most recently working at a, another community access center in Kalamazoo, Michigan, a public media network. And actually uh, was there for 10 years um, and really excited about the opportunity to join folks here in Somerville and uh, really forward the whole mission of community media. Um, really excited to be working with the staff here. Um, actually, I've spent, I've been here for a, a week at this point and have had a great time interviewing all the members of staff, getting to, to know the place, get a feel for the community. Um, I've already been to a couple of the coffee houses, had sushi across the street, so really embracing the, the restaurant scene here in in Somerville. My son has already um, made me take him to the uh, local comic book store here in Somerville. Uh, so again, exciting stuff. Really happy to, to be part of this endeavor. Uh, we're really looking forward to uh, uh, doing great things here at uh, SCAT TV. And uh, again, my door is open. So if uh, you want to stop by and say hi, I invite you. Um, again, I'm Brian Zip. Also feel free to call me Zippy. Uh, and again, ask for Zippy when you, when you stop on by. Hi, so my name is Heather McCormick and I'm the new um, Boston Free Radio Manager and Youth Media Coordinator, uh, which is a dream job for me and I'm going to tell you a little bit why, um, because it really unites a whole different, a whole bunch of different pieces of myself. Um, I have been doing radio since I was 14. Um, I had my first radio show on WHAB, Acton Boxborough's uh, high school radio station. Um, my mom was a DJ for WERS um, radio in the 80s, and so I grew up with a lot, a lot of music and a lot of appreciation for music and for radio as, an, as a media form, as an art form. And so I did uh, radio all through high school. I interned at WUML. Um, radio um, in, as a senior and was sure that that was what I was going to do. I was just going to be a DJ. That was my plan. Um, got into Emerson um, and couldn't afford it. Thanks, Emerson. Um, ended up at UMass Amherst and my life totally changed. I ended up not doing radio. I started getting really involved in like social justice, activism, especially around food justice and criminal justice reform. Um, worked at a, at a food pantry and community center for three and a half years, loved it. And then um, I did still do some media stuff and some youth work stuff. Um, I taught media literacy at, uh, at a middle school in, in Holyoke, and then I did a uh, theater program at the Holyoke Boys and Girls Club. Um, and wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with my life. I graduated with a BA in communication, but no radio career, and not really sure what I wanted to do. Um, so I moved to Somerville um, about six years ago, moved to Union Square, um, and pretty, pretty quickly got a job um, at the Mystic Learning Center in Somerville, and I worked there for about four and a half years, um, working with young people age five to 21 um, in all different capacities, um, residents mostly of the Mystic Housing Development in Somerville, and uh, it was a completely incredible experience. Um, I, I love Mystic with all my heart. It really taught me everything I need to know about youth development and, and completely changed my life. And then I decided I want to push myself a little more. Uh, went to Harvard Graduate School of Education last year. Uh, it was a one-year program to get my master's in education um, in prevention science and practice, which is a really fancy way of saying that like we need to work with young people in ways that are not just about teaching them um, 
to a test. <laughs> and so um, I worked in Cambridge, Cambridge Youth Programs for about nine months um, and running a teen program, uh, the Moore Youth Center. Um, was an incredible place, but um, I saw this opportunity, I saw this job, and it was like, hey, this is your job, Heather. This is your way of bringing all of those different pieces of yourself, your radio background, your music and performing arts background, because I also make music and um, perform, and I'm a women wrestler, and do all sorts of stuff in the local scene, and then also bring your passion for social justice and for youth work all together into one. So. Needless to say, I am really pumped to be here. I'm so grateful for this opportunity. Um, already launching into some really great work. We just ran Youth Media Camp last week. Um, had an incredible group of young people making original um, movies and music videos. And um, I'm already planning summer programming, already working with the Boston Free Radio um, hosts and staff to think about how we can push that even in, in bigger and better directions. Um, so there's just such an amazing opportunity here for me, and um, I just can't wait uh, to really dig in and get started.